you've been considering switching to Linux, though, our next guest will show you how. Without installing anything on your hard drive, you can have the Linux experience. From OSDN, Linux expert Chris DeBona. Welcome back to the show, Chris. Thanks for having me yet again. So, what is, is this like a, a boot disk or something? What's going on? Uh, it's actually it's very much like that. Um, mm -hmm. It's a CD-ROM that you download and burn. Uh, the links are in the article, as uh -huh. usual. Um, and you slap it in your machine, and then it comes up. So. And you're booting to it right now. Yeah, yeah. Live. I want to do it all real time. So on television. So people you see how easy it is. Did you have to customize it, or can you? Well, drop the only this thing that I'm doing that's custom that, that your average viewer won't have to do is mm -hmm. I'm making it so it comes up in 800 by 600 mode, so we can get it onto the television. So that's that would be important. That's it. You know, and it'll just launch. And and what is, is this a particular flavor or distribution of Unix? Well, yeah, it's it's basically Linux. Linux. <laughs> It's basically Linux, uh, Debian. Right. So um, they basically took it, they customized it, they made it so it could run off of the CD, mm -hmm. no problem. So basically what it's doing right now is it starts up, it tries to find itself, which sounds odd, but it basically it, right. it has enough of an operating system right now to sort of say, who am I, where am I, right? Got it. And so and then it reboots itself, re reloads itself off of a compressed volume on the CD-ROM. Okay. And then it goes out and says, okay, well, what's what do I have here on this laptop? Do I have network? Do I have a display? Do I have sound? And it turns out, of course, it has all of those things, right? Got it. So that's what it's doing right now. It's auto-configuring devices. And it's auto-configuring fast. So that little green bar scrolling yeah. across the screen. You know, fast. it's um, that could just be a scam, though. You never know. That's true. You know, it could just be, yeah. You know, but it's actually pretty, you know. It's found the mouse. It's found the sound card, video. Yeah. So this is actually a really great way to, to expose yourself to Linux if you're, mm -hmm. you know, so like, I don't want to wipe a hard drive for this. Is right? this designed for beginners, or is this just an uh, uh, easy-to-install version? Or? I would consider it designed for beginners because it, it launches you right in. It doesn't make you log in or do right. anything like that. So it launches you right what into What Windows Manager Windows. would you like to use? Yeah, it doesn't ask you any of that stuff. It just sort of gives you... A thing. It's, it's okay. all set up. It, it even it sets up. It starts up uh, a web browser as the first thing for you. And very nice. So it's just loading. It's Will you be sleek. able to read stuff that's on your hard drive? See, it's a great thing. You can. Uh, you, 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 this is where you actually have to start sort of typing a little bit. And that's, okay. You have to mount the hard drive. Okay. Um, it creates the mount points already for you. Okay. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. It'll take about two seconds before cool. it to get in. And then you can actually you can play the music you might have on your hard drive. You can play the movies. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I've got a copy of uh, a Divix copy of Mystery Men and stuff. And just. It just works. It just plays. So it's reading the Windows file format. You don't have to launch a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cake. Very cake, nice. Cake, cake, So, like, I just started up this little uh, window here. So I'll mount slash dev HDA1. Sorry. Slash <laughs> mount HDA1. So now if I go into mount HDA1, which is where my... Uh, this is a Windows partition. This is where I keep all of my okay. my MP3s and stuff that I carry with me. And you're just doing this through a basic shell. This is like a, the equivalent yeah. of the command line. And the thing is, you don't have to do this. That, that's not very friendly. So, but if you click here, you know you've got all, everything you need. You've got Open Office. So uh -huh. if you want to do word processing, you can do that here. You know, you've got all kinds of great games. Okay. You know, uh, more than would come with your average Windows installation. So, so it's so, just like know. a typical. Linux distribution, yeah. except it's contained on a CD and, and it's, it's ready to go. Fast, pretty it's cake. Go. So here's Real Genius. Just start that up, and it just it just works. You know, it's just it's fabulous. Very nice. So. And you have that pre-stored on your hard drive. Yeah, well, I ripped it at home and I put it on there. So. <laughs> oh man, what other sort of stuff? Is there anything should be doing anything that. people should be worried about? Can they erase anything? Can they? Mess up the partitions on their hard drive. You know, if they if they want to, they can. You know, but and you have to know enough really about Linux to actually. For that because like suppose suppose you've got something wrong with your Windows partition. Suppose mm -hmm. you've got something wrong with your Linux partition. This is a great way to sort of open up your machine and get into it and 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 sort of work on it without actually having to go into that hard drive directly. You know, so it, it's handy for a fail-safe way of getting to your machine. So. It's a nice tool to have in the box. It's a very good tool to have in the box. So how much? Oh, it's free, of course. And where can people get it? Uh, there's a link on the article, but basically it's like nopper.de. Mm -hmm. It's uh, hosted in German. So when you download this, a lot of people have emailed me this because the article went up before I did the segment, of course. And uh, make sure you download the English version. <laughs> Got it. Because the German one is the default for you to download. So just it's make sure you download the English one if you speak English, if you like German. You know. Ich bin ein Berliner. Ich bin I am Jelly Donut. So. <laughs> Is he new at Think Geek? Uh, they have all kinds of cool stuff for Christmas. I have a wish list there if people would like to give me things. And where do they find that? Uh, <laughs> they're all like, Wait, what do you, why don't we have wish lists? <laughs> oh, you could have one. Everyone can have them. Um, yeah, they have all kinds of cool stuff. But the thing that I actually, uh, they've started carrying like a lot more electronics now, so that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. You know what I really want? It's so pedestrian. Cause you guys are, it's it those little thumb drive things. Uh -huh. They're so cool. Yeah, you cool. know, you just like slap them in. You know, you put files. Storage on, on the go, all over yeah, USB. Yeah, so it's kind of silly, but you know, it's those things you don't buy for yourself because you're like, oh, I'll just burn a CD. You know. What I mean? 
Someday you'll get one. Someday. Maybe some viewer out there. If it, it, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you'll feel guilty. I feel terribly guilty. Are you kidding? You know, so, there are more needy members of the show, I'm sure. You know. What's the email flavor of the week? Uh, oh, yeah, Chris at uh, Dostian.com is supposedly working again. Okay. Because there was a glitch on that. Is that better than Chris at Devona.net? You can reach me anywhere. Reach him anywhere. anywhere. Chris at something. Try Devona.net. If it has something to do with when I say it usually forwards to me. That's All the right. funny thing. So. I'm afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, for links to download your free version of Nopix, read Chris's article, Give Linux for Christmas. There's a stocking stuffer at the screensavers.com. <laughs>